Okay, this video is to show you how to make a new reservation inside the new Limo Anywhere mobile app. We're going to start with making a guest reservation. So we're going to hit, tap on the plus in the bottom right hand corner to bring up the new reservation form. Uh, basically, you just fill this form out going top to bottom to fill out everything. Then you'll be able to proceed to save your reservation successfully. So let's start from the very top, which puts in who the reservation is for. Uh, go ahead and tap the option for guest or new account since we're doing a guest this 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 go around I'll go ahead and put in some guest information for this um, trip company name is not required for guest reservations you would really only need to put it if you if you want to but it's not required uh, the option down at the bottom also allows you to the option to create a new account for this passenger if you so feel the need or want to um, but you don't have to since this is just a guest reservation so I'm going to go ahead and proceed to hit done in the top right hand corner and uh, you'll see also the same option here to create a new account for this guest if you if you wanted to as well I'm going to proceed to fill in the trip information as far as the routing, pickup date, and time. So I'm going to do an airport first. Um, if you choose an airport, you'll see the options that, that display on the screen like you see below. We can pick the flight's arri arrival date, the flight information as far as the airline and flight number, um, and everything else down below as far as meet options, any kind of notes, or a certain time. For this piece of writing that you would like to put on here as well um this, since this is just a test i'm going to go ahead and hit done with no flight information which you can do and then i'm going to go ahead and turn a drop off location as well for my routing i'm going to put a pickup date and a pickup time as well that's fine uh, the duration is usually what you would use for, for like an hourly ride. If you need to put in like a four hour ride or three hour ride, you can put the number there and the duration accordingly. Um, the drop off time is optional as well. If you want to enter in a drop off time, you can fill it in there in the DO time blank as well. I'm going to go ahead and choose a service type for this trip, which is from airport in this case. Scroll to the next section, which is the vehicle area. The vehicle capacity blank, if you tap in there, it allows you to put in certain capacities passenger count luggage count child seat count you can enter all of this here on this page here and then hit the uh, orange confirm button at the bottom to confirm those selections and you'll see them displayed there if you have any selections that are made the accessible blank is uh, where it says access if it's like if you need like a handicap accessible vehicle you can choose yes or no there appropriately and then choose your vehicle type in the vehicle type blank as well I'm going to choose an SUV for this example. You have the option to enter in your promo code if you have one, or select it from your list of existing ones, rather, I should say. You see them displayed here. Um, so you have, for applying an actual rate to the reservation, you can choose apply rate table, similarly to how you would do on the regular big reservation form in the back office of Limo Anywhere, to choose one of your stored rates. Um, if you want to edit or add a rate manually, you hit the orange edit button to make your fill in your rates manually with everything that you wanted them to have and hit save in the top right hand corner upon entry. I'm going to just use one of my stored rates for this example. I'm going to hit apply rate table, choose distance for my distance base rate to be applied, choose SUV rate, and that rate fills in accordingly. At this point, you're moved to the very bottom of the reservation where you need to enter in some payment information, some type of payment method. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to choose a check for, for my payment method. Now uh, you can choose the payment status as far as unpaid, collect, or paid. Any kind of payment terms you'd like to select for the payment terms. Um, you have the option to enter in a voucher number if you have one of those as well. If you want to pay with a credit card, you would choose the pay with credit card option that you see at the bottom there. Once you have everything entered in from top to bottom, you hit the orange save reservation button and your reservation will be created successfully and it'll populate with your confirmation number as well, letting you know. You can just hit OK. And that's all and that's how you make a reservation for a guest.